Kita C team here. We want to answer the question we receive a lot, and that is, what is the weather really like in Gig Harbor? We have brought on a professional today. This here is Jason Smith, and he is an actual meteorologist on the crisis, in the crisis department for Expedia. So he's gonna help us with all the details. So we always joke in Gig Harbor, we gotta get out of town right before winter starts. So we say plan a trip in October, soak up the vitamin D, uh, and then plan another trip in February before you start going crazy from the darkness <laughs> and all the rain. Um, but we also embrace the winter here. We're really close to Snoqualmie Pass is about an hour drive if you're into skiing. White Pass is about a two, two and a half hour drive. And then Crystal Mountain's only about an hour and 15 minutes away too. Mm -hmm. So we do love our winters as well. What would you say the average average temps are during the winter time here? So average temperatures in the winter season here are somewhere in the mid to high 40s. And then the lows drop down into the mid 30s at night. Um, it's basically a byproduct of where we are latitudinally. Latitudinally? That's not a word. <laughs> that it works for me. If you say it, we yeah. believe it. Where we are, <laughs> where we are with latitude and our proximity to the Pacific Ocean. So essentially what happens during the winter, the polar jet slides south, which becomes a conveyor belt and just drags all the weather in off the northern Pacific, which is why we get tons of rain. So about how much rain do we get? Seattle averages annually about 38 inches of rain, comparably to other national or major national cities. Miami gets about 62 inches of rain a year. New York gets about 48 and we're Atlanta gets about 52. Yeah, we're less than New York. Yeah. And how does Gig Harbor compare to Seattle? Same thing? About the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that bad here, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that bad. It's just a more consistent drizzle. Yeah. yeah. We don't get the heavy rainfalls. It's just more kind of misting at all times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about, we get questions too. What about snowfall down here? We get about two snow events a year. One of them typically is pretty light and one of them can be heavier depending on how close you are to the water. So if you're on the water, generally the snowfall that you see is less than uh, you would at a higher elevation. Mm -hmm. So Point Fosdick is generally a couple degrees warmer than it, or cooler during the winter than it is um, at the water level, yeah. so. And the reason I just learned this, he points out Point Fosdick, that's because that's where our airport is. So that's another testing station. Yeah, yeah, and it's a higher elevation. So around the water, you get some moderating effect because it's. You know, the water is generally around 50 some degrees here during the winter and so you get a little bump in the heat when you're close to it. Yep. And then as you go up in altitude, which you would going to Point Fosic, you would lose some temperature in altitude. So it's usually... Give us a few snow days a year. That's right. Yeah. The kids only get a few snow days yeah. a year. So when we move into spring in Gig Harbor, you see a lot of different types of weather. We get a lot of hail, random hail. We get rainbows everywhere. Um, there's lightning storms. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on. What do you contribute that to? Spring is a transition phase. So in reality, there are only basically two seasonal things that we have here in Western Washington. One is the wet season and one is the dry season. Technically speaking, Copen classification, we actually live in a Mediterranean climate Ooh. because of our Sounds long fancy. summers, okay. our dry summers. I know it does sound good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Move to the Mediterranean uh, weather of Western Washington. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, by definition, we live in a Mediterranean oh, climate. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I get the pleasure of talking about summertime in the Pacific Northwest. It is our favorite time of year around here, and that is because we do get warmer temperatures. The rain does go away for a bit, and we have a, obviously a very beautiful setting. Uh, we're surrounded by the Puget Sound, so lots of boating activities, um, a lot of water skiing, a lot of wakeboarding. Um, so what are the average temperatures in the summer? Around 79 degrees. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 79 degrees during the summer, yes, yes. Some might say the perfect temperature. Yes. Yeah. But it can get pretty hot. Last summer we had some really hot days. Yeah, it can get hot. It needs a specific weather pattern for that to happen. So what happens in the western Washington is that, uh, so all the rain is a, because of a polar jet that sinks south in the winter, and then in the summer it warms up when that polar jet slides north, and basically just a high pressure sits on top of the eastern Pacific, which just gives us great weather. So we don't see a lot of rain. Uh, we actually have a midsummer drought here, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I mean, the end of the summer is almost always kept off by uh, fire warnings and burn bans and everything mm -hmm. because we get so little rain yeah. uh, during the uh, summer months. Believe yeah. it or not, we get so little rain yeah. in the summer months. Uh, I looked up and I found that we only average about two or four days of rain in the July and August months. Completely believable. Yeah. I would totally buy that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. people put up with the winter and the spring because the summer is epic. Mm -hmm. It is so great. And Jen loves summer. I am a huge fan of fall. Typically that is 
kicked off by Labor Day weekend, kids go back to school, but what we still get are a lot of really warm days where the sun still is out, you know, in those evening hours and football and the leaves. I think it's an amazing time of year to live around here and you just soak up that last bit of vitamin D before what you know is inevitable and coming your way. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. say for fall? It's kind of like spring. It's not a large time frame. It's a transitional it time is. frame I between the dry to the wet. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, while it's here, it's good. It, it yeah. kind of breaks you in slowly to what you're getting yeah. in the winter. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it usually comes in around what, late September and then by November you're in the wet season. Mm -hmm. So you got about five to six weeks of that transition. Yeah. And then, and then you're staunchly in the, the wet season again. But we're, so. we're all in denial and we yeah. keep our shorts and flip flops on. I'd say yeah. probably past Halloween. True. The thing that I wanted to point out too that I think makes the summer so epic is that because we're so far north, our daylight hours are 14, 15 hours a day of daylight. The sun's not setting until 10 o'clock at night. So we are awesome. soaking it up all day and into the late evening. So that's a pretty fun yeah. fact that adds to. Yeah, the longest day here, I mean, between twilights, you, I mean, twilight in the evening here can be like a, close to 11 p.m. Yeah, so right. it's, uh, yeah. Late bedtime for the kids on yeah. those nights. Which we allow. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. You gotta soak it up while yeah, you can. Enough. So all in all, wouldn't you say we're pretty mild though? I mean, we're, we don't have the extremes of the Midwest or no. the East Coast. True, just because all of our yeah. weather comes from the Pacific, which is a very moderating. Yeah. Uh, so maritime air masses are way better stability moderation factors than anything in the continent. So when we get those really hot days in summer, generally what happens is the high pressure kind of slides in a little bit and it spins clockwise and so it pulls in some air from the uh, northeast which is the continental air mass and so it spills over the Cascades and those are the days we get really hot. But we also <laughs> see that when we get uh, when the smoke rolls in because it all comes in yes. from you know the Canadian mountains and that's generally a high pressure that's moved in. A little too close to the coast for us and so it's pulling in air from the from the northeast down to us. You've made us sound so smart. Yeah, well you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Just by proximity to you in this <laughs> I think. So that pretty much wraps up the weather in Gig Harbor, Washington. If you have further questions, we know who to talk to. Reach out to us and don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. Thanks, Thank we'll see you next time.